Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned that the essence of matrix multiplication is plugging one linear system into another. In today's video, we are going to show an example of applications of matrix multiplication. Suppose at a certain time in Greater New York area, 25% of the population live in the city and 75% live in the suburbs. Each year, 4% of the people in the city move to the suburbs and 6% of those in the suburbs move to the city. How does the population split between city and suburbs change with the time? If we don't consider other factors such as births, deaths, and migrations. Well, we can use matrix algebra to model the change of the population split after k years. Firstly, we let vector x0 to be 0 0.25 and 0 0.75, in which the first element represents the initial population percentage living in the city. The second element represents that in the suburbs. It's simple to calculate that after one year, the city's population would be 0 0.96 times 0 0.25 plus 0 0.06 times 0 0.75. And that of the suburbs will be 0 0.04 times 0 0.25 plus 0 0.94 times 0 0.75. Therefore, we get x1. Recall what we have learned about matrix multiplication. This looks like a dot product of two matrices. We can rewrite x1 to be in the form of matrix multiplication, in which the left matrix is a square matrix, we can call it A, and the right matrix is actually the vector x0. In the first column vector of A, the first element is the percentage of the population in a city, stays up to one year, while the second element is the percentage moved from the city to suburbs. Similarly, in the second column vector of A, the first element is the percentage from suburbs to the city, and the second element is the percentage stayed in the suburbs. Now we get x1 equals to a times x0. Following the same rule, we can get x2. And so forth. We can conclude that xk will be equal to a to the power of k times x0. Let's recap the whole process and learn some concepts here. It's clear that the population in the suburbs and the city in a certain year is only reliant on last year's population. Since xk equals to a times xk minus 1, this is an example of Markov chain. The vectors x0, x1 are called state vectors. The components of each state vector are not negative and add up to 1. A vector with this property is called a probability vector. The matrix A is called the transition matrix of the Markov chain. It tells us how the state at any time k determines the state at time k plus 1. There is another name for A. Note that each column of A is a probability vector as well. A square matrix with this property is called a stochastic matrix. That's all for this video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more interesting content. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.